Hey guys, this is Ashwin here. In this video, we are going to see about lemmatization. So lemmatization is the process of finding a form of the related word in the dictionary. So it is completely different from uh, stemming. It will also try to find the root of the word, but that particular word will be present in the dictionary. So that is the only difference between lemmatization and uh, stemming. And it also involves some uh, longer process because of the algorithm. So this will give us some uh, meaningful uh, words and like uh, uh, stemming. So let's see how it works. First, I'm gonna import the module from nltk.stem import wordnet lemmatizer. So I will say lemmatizer, lemmatizer equals wordnet lemmatizer, run this. So uh, let's convert a few words and see how it's uh, uh, working. So lemmatizer dot lemmatize. Um, here I'll just pass workers. So here you can see you just remove the word yes and uh, uh, gave us a worker. Let's see for another word. Words. So here also it's just removing the uh, plural form and uh, giving us uh, the word that is meaningful. Here you can uh, able to clearly see the difference. So worker, work and uh, other words uh, here you can see maybe we will say eats uh, because we also done it in the stemming. So eats, run this, eats just giving the whole thing. So in the stemming, it just uh, reduced to eat. And uh, even if you take like a different word, so I'll just say eaten. So here also it just uh, saying eaten. Um, so some words, uh, it's not able to truncate because of the algorithm. So you just need to uh, get the word that is present in the dictionary. So eaten will be present in the dictionary. That's why uh, I just uh, going for this. And uh, most of the time it is just uh, removing the additional plural word in order to get the word that is present in the uh, dictionary. So let's try another word uh, called feet. So this is just like a plural form of foot. So run this. See, it just changed the word to foot. Uh, it's actually giving us like a singular uh, form that the words are present in the dictionary. Um, one more example, um, maybe I'll just uh, remove these things because it didn't give us the results. Now uh, we can also add some uh, parts of speech. We will see that in the uh, next video. So using the parts of uh, speech, we can able to clearly uh, do the lamentization. So just paste this and uh, here I will call this as stripes. So stripes, if I consider this as a verb. Okay, this is stripes. So if I consider this as a verb, it's just uh, giving a strip. So let's consider this as a noun. So n and this, it's giving us a stripe. So based on the parts of speech, uh, it is actually giving us a better results uh, compared to what we have before. So it's better to use the parts of speech uh, and get the output like this. And after that, pass the words in, into the lamentization uh, process. So it's actually giving us like a root word that is uh, present in the dictionary. So based on the verb or noun, it's actually giving us the result. Now let's do the same process. Uh, what we have done for the stemming, uh, we will take the text here. Run this. And uh, we will just uh, take the tokenized uh, sentence. So word tokenize, run this. And finally, we will be getting the lemmatized uh, sentence. So here I'll just pass lemmatizer dot lemmatize here. And this will be lemmatized sentence. Okay, run this. Now here uh, it didn't uh, uh, remove uh, 
I think it didn't remove anything. As you can able to see, hi everyone. This is Hackers Realm. Uh, we are learning natural language processing. Uh, we reached uh, 1 million views. Okay, only this views has been changed to like view. Apart from that, uh, I think it didn't uh, remove anything. Even in the hackers, it didn't uh, uh, remove anything. So this is the difference between uh, stemming and lemmatization. So here in the stemming, you can clearly see some of the letters in the words are missing. Actually, this is like a root word, but the words won't be present in the dictionary. But uh, here you can able to see all these words will be present in the dictionary. Maybe uh, we could like convert this words into like lowercase. So let's run this. Yeah, I think after converting to lowercase, it actually removed uh, here S has been removed and uh, here also S has been removed. And apart from that, it didn't remove uh, anything. Uh, everything remains the same. I think it's better to convert uh, the whole text into like lowercase uh, for most of the pre-processing. And uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, this is the difference between uh, stemming and lemmatization. If you don't want to lose the whole word or uh, meaning of the word, just go for uh, lemmatization. It won't like remove the actual characters uh, like this. So it all depends on the scenario you are uh, in. And uh, that's it guys. If you like this video, hit the like button and stay tuned for the next video.